Wars! What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Let's talk some spoilers of The Flash. Yep, oh my god. I mean, it's kind of funny because... I mean, I'm trying to think, like, what exactly to talk about. I mean, obviously, there's a crazy multiverse type of event that happens in this movie, and they just so show you some shit that you just go, I can't believe I'm actually seeing that. Are you actually showing me this? This is insane. Absolutely insane. But we'll go in order. We'll go in order. We'll start off, of course, right off the bat when it comes to the opening scene. And, yes, the flying babies. Yes, that does happen. We've seen... The concept art, and there's a Funko Pop apparently, but yes, the opening scene when it comes to Batman needing Barry. The fucking uh, Martha Wayne in Institute is like now falling apart, and we got a little nurse and a dog and babies that are flying out the window, and Barry has to save him. But like I said in my normal review, I thought <laughs> that was great because it's like up the ante, and they fucking up the ante. Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman showing up for just a brief moment. In oh man. I don't think she's gonna freak. I thought I thought it was gonna be longer. To be honest, I thought there would be a little bit more of a length. I thought there, I thought she was gonna be like part of the action, but she just saves Batman as he does because he goes over the bridge with one of the dudes that is carrying some kind of bio weapon. And if it gets into the water, guess what? Things can go awry. Grappling gun is not working. So then we got the we got the uh, lasso of truth that shows up. I knew that was gonna happen. Pulls him up, and then but then it gets a little. Eh, it kind of gets me a little reminiscent of. Uh, and then of course people are just gonna be like, "This is totally Justice League." But yes, it does get a little reminiscent of the fact that in Justice League you had Arthur sit down on the truth, the the lasso of truth, and start saying some things. And you know, so th that kind of happens right here. And then Barry tries to help get the lasso off him, and he says something. I wasn't a big fan of that. And not to mention Ben Affleck's suit does look uncomfortable right there, which it is. From what I gathered, it was uncomfortable. He did not like it. Apparently, from what I gathered, his favorite suit's a BBS suit. Hey, so is mine. So we got Barry running so fast that he gets into this like little time bowl thing. I can't remember exactly what the frick it was called. It's totally eluding me right now, but when he's running and he's kind of running in place when it's like in a globe and he's got it's pretty much like you know, it's like a bowl, like uh, like an old uh, like Coliseum or something like that. And that's what was really cool is like you saw the callbacks to Zack Snyder's Justice League. You saw Cavill, like, you know, going for the punch for him, like shirtless and everything. You saw, you know, you see everything. And the fact that when he learns that he can go back in time and change things. And when it comes to, of course, Nora's mom getting killed is because... She sends Henry out to go get the, the, the crushed tomatoes or whatever the hell because she forgot to get them at the store. So then, of course, he goes, well, if I put the tomatoes in the cart, she won't have to send them and it all will be good. But, of course, it fucks everything up and he ends up getting trapped. And, you know, when it comes to Barry getting zapped by lightning, when you see that shot of both of them where it goes through older Barry into young Barry, young Barry gets the powers. Because they, you know, he tries to reenact it. They go back to Star Labs, or no, I don't know, it was Star Labs, but wherever the hell it was. Obviously, it's like his freshman year, and then it happens. And then what was, uh, and then it happens. But you know, older Barry doesn't. He loses his powers. So I thought that was pretty cool how they had to figure that one out. I also thought it was pretty cool too because when they talk about the zero hour event that happened in Man of Steel, that yes, Barry was there in his makeshift costume trying to help. So I just love the fact that you had Man of Steel, you had the zero hour event happening. Now we know that there is, you know, when you watch Man of Steel, when you watch Man of Steel, and I. This is how I'm going to approach it. When you watch Man of Steel, you know that Bruce Wayne is driving around like a crazy person in the city. It's the streets right there. And you also have a Barry Allen in a crazy, stupid getup trying to help people as well. And I thought that was pretty sweet that they uh, that they did that. Jumping ahead. So obviously when everything has to, um, you know, we know that you already knew that young Barry was going to end up turning into... The Dark Flash, which we saw a glimpse of him the first time Barry went into, you know, the Speed Force and tried to start changing things. We saw uh, we saw the Dark Flash that shows up right there. I was like, whoa, that's OK. So it's already happening. But we know that it, it's Barry, young Barry, because he doesn't want people to die. He's so like, ah, you know, excited that that he has these powers and he knows that he can help him and everything. So that was a cool like moment where, you know, we they keep going back because of the fight with Zod. And the Kryptonians, Supergirl dies. Supergirl dies. She gets stabbed. 
she they need her blood because obviously like when it when it came to Kalel and his pod, they both had pods that were launched. She was supposed to protect, which is kind of interesting. And the fact of the matter is, is they intercepted it. They killed Cal in there, uh, but they needed her blood as well. So it was kind of interesting. So obviously they trying to save her. That's what Youngberry tries to do. And then, of course, when it comes to Michael Keaton's Batman, he sacrifices himself. Well, first by just ramming the freaking Batwing into the Kryptonian ship, what I thought was, well, there it is. But then I went, wait, there's a shot in the trailer where he gets down on his knees. But then he like takes on what's his name, the big dude, obviously. And then and then just it was a really badass scene, but he gets, you know, the shit beat out of him. And then there's like a dramatic death right there. So it's like one of those things where it's like, okay, so we keep on going, going, going. But then, of course, it causes the crazy multiverse event, which right off the bat, you see George Reeves, Superman. What the hell? George Reeves. Oh, I mean, you got like, I mean, you see like these big spheres, these balls that are out there and it's kind of showing so many different things. And then, of course, they show Christopher Reeve knew that was going to happen. I didn't I didn't think they were going to do George Reeves, which I thought was cool, but I didn't know. I mean, I did know that. Yeah, Chris, Christopher Reeve, of course. But little did I know that Helen Slater was also going to be there, too. So that was pretty sweet. But the big kicker, of course, when it comes to Superman, Nicholas fucking Cage showing up fighting the spider. That's right. I can't wait to hear what Kevin Smith has to say about that. I already knew about it, sadly. Got it spoiled for me. But man, I was t- tapping my, my friend's arm like they're doing it. They did it. They fucking did it. Those crazy assholes. You literally see Nicolas Cage, Superman, long hair and everything. Costume looking like how we saw it. Oh, man. Just absolutely batshit crazy. Again, can't believe they're doing that. And then, of course, you see Adam West, Batman. You're doing that. Apparently, there's other things in there, too, that I can't wait, wait to like zero in on and look at uh it's just like absolutely crazy absolutely crazy when it comes to the that aspect of the multiverse and uh yeah i mean obviously when you get the dark flash and you know it's old you know it's young barry that's old barry and they're doing all that and then of course you get that heartwarming scene at the end when you know old our barry has to go back and put and make sure that she doesn't get the crushed tomatoes. I think it's crushed tomatoes. Um, and there's that whole scene where it's just, it, it, that's where, that's what really chokes you up because he essentially has to say goodbye to his mom again. Well, not again, but you know, as older, I guess you could say he has, he has to say goodbye to her and it's a really touching scene, but, uh, you know, and then of course we get to the point, but at the, but the, but the fact of the matter is, is like something happened and I'm not sure exactly what happened. I have to watch it again, but something happened where the crushed tomatoes got moved above. So when Henry goes back and on the security footage, he's able to look up because the security footage beforehand, he's wearing a hat. You can't see his face. So it's not good evidence, but you know, you have things that changed again, which is interesting. Um, and then he has to reach up. So you see his face. So then Henry is, you know, he, he, innocent he's innocent so that's cool and then of course what happens this is what everybody was talking about and i wanted it to happen in a different way because i even talked about it i said okay if barry tries to fix things and then michael keaton it's no longer mike keaton you see a batman he takes his cowl off and it's george clooney they didn't quite do it like that but yes we have George Clooney. I dug it. I dug it and I knew it was going to happen. I was like, oh, it's going to be George Clooney. Like when he's like, oh, Bruce Wayne's showing up and then he shows up and who gets out of the car? It's fucking George Clooney. I thought, all right, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. I thought that was great. I thought it was great. To be honest, I did. I, I, fan service, ridiculous. I, I really thought that I, I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. But I did not like the post credit scene with drunk Arthur. I thought that was dumb. I was like, all right, uh, okay, so Arthur's super drunk. How long? Okay. But Barry's not. But then I guess, I don't know. It's just I didn't really like it, you know? I mean, it was cool to see Jason Momoa and him, or Jason Momoa and Ezra, you know, back on the screen together. But I was like, eh, I didn't really dig it. Didn't really dig that. But I did I did dig the, uh, the Clooney. No Grant Gustin. I really thought Grant Gustin would show up, but... I don't know. I wonder why they didn't put Grant Gustin in there. Uh, we do see a, uh, a Jay Garrick flash in the Speed Force and all the craziness, too. We see him running with the helmet on and everything like that. It just looked like just, you know, and yeah, it's just, yeah, but that all that stuff was like crazy, just absolutely crazy. But I think I pretty much covered it all right there when it comes to spoilers. But yeah, this, this movie is just, like I said, it's just one of those, I could see this movie being one of those where it's just like, it's a feel-good 
type of movie where I like, I put it on, if I'm just like, eh, you know, I'm feeling kind of, you know, you, know, you ever have like those movies? Like, I, I'm like that with Back to the Future, and obviously they make Back to the Future references in here, and the fact that Eric Stoltz is actually Marty McFly, I thought that was pretty funny, even though that whole scene with the, with the roommates and everything like that was really dumb, um, but... I, you know, it just feels like it's one of those kind of movies that I could just do a, oh, it's just a feel good type of movie. I could put it on and be like, oh, yeah, Michael Keaton. Oh, it's just like one of those kind of things. So anyways, guys, that's the spoiler discussion right there. Um, let me know your thoughts about it down below when it comes to all this. Um, and yeah, what were your thoughts on some of the more spoilery type stuff? So hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. All right. Well. Smash that like, thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm doing this stuff. Subscribe, of course, become a member if you want to do that. Follow me on the Sock Meds. That's it, guys. Talk to you later.